Hi, everyone. I'm Deb Goodkin, the Executive Director of the FreeBSD Foundation. On behalf of the Foundation, I want to thank you for your support in 2022. We are a U.S.-based nonprofit, and our sole purpose is to support the FreeBSD operating system and community, and we do that in so many different ways. But mostly, we step in to fill critical needs of the project. We supported many areas this year, and what I'd like to do is have other team members step in and highlight some of those areas that we supported. Hi, I'm Joel Mingrone, a project coordinator with the FreeBSD Foundation. Thanks to your support in 2022, we were able to fund a number of projects to improve FreeBSD. For example, Kirk McCusick is adding support for taking snapshots on systems running UFS with journaled soft updates. John Baldwin integrated a WireGuard kernel module Bjorn Zeeb is adding support for the latest wireless standards. Jesper Chang is working to improve uh, OpenStack on FreeBSD. And Mina Galich is working to improve Cloud Init on FreeBSD. We also funded two part-time contracts, one for John Baldwin to deal with Beehive issues and one for Mitchell Horn to generally improve uh, FreeBSD on different RISC-V hardware. We also uh, chipped in with FreeBSD's Google Summer of Code program this year. Uh, we helped by administering the program and chipping in with mentorship. That project or that program was a success in that uh, all projects passed and code was integrated into the tree. For example, DRM debugfs support was added for the Linux KPI. We also funded a uh, RIX-5 internship that saw support for Syscaller, a kernel level uh, fuzzer added for uh, RISC-V. And I just wanna say thank you to everyone to help uh, make this work happen. I'm Ed Mast, Senior Director of Technology for the FreeBSD Foundation. In addition to the projects that Joe mentioned, your support allows the foundation staff to support ongoing development and operational needs of the project. This includes Caustic, Mark, and Andrew's work on low-level x86 and ARM64 kernel details, ongoing security team support and other software development, and Lee Wen's support of the CI infrastructure and Git repository. Joe and Lee Wen also contribute significantly to FreeBSD ports and documentation. Thanks again, and I look forward to seeing what we'll accomplish in the year ahead. Hi, everyone. My name is Ann Dickinson, and I'm the Marketing Director here at the FreeBSD Foundation. I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you to everyone who invested in FreeBSD over the past year. Because of your generosity, we were able to attend 14 events representing FreeBSD, including our first ever appearance at Open Source 101 and a return to scale where we held a FreeBSD workshop. Your support also allowed us to bring on a new technical writer, and together we were able to double the amount of blogs we produced for the community. This included more blogs about how the project itself works and more blogs about what the foundation is doing to support FreeBSD. Because of you, we were able to continue producing the high-quality FreeBSD journal. I'm so excited to say that the journal is entering its 10th year of production as a free publication. Now is a great time to check out the journal if you haven't yet. And did you catch that it's free? Yep. We were able to make it free a few years ago, and thanks to you, it's still that way today. We've got a lot of exciting issues on deck for 2023, and don't forget to keep an eye out for the November-December issue, which should hit any day now. Finally, 2023 marks the 30th anniversary of the FreeBSD project, and we cannot wait to celebrate the birthday of our favorite open source operating system with you. Now I'm gonna hand this over to Drew Gorkowski, our marketing coordinator, so he can tell you more about how your support has helped us advocate for FreeBSD in the past year. Thank you again for all you do for FreeBSD, and I look forward to working with you in 2023. In 2022, we expanded our social media outreach continuing to highlight upcoming events and foundation-sponsored work, while also promoting FreeBSD content and content creators with new series like our Resource of the Week. We reached nearly 70,000 new users across multiple social media platforms and also saw a large increase in post engagement, meaning the content that we were promoting was reaching the right people. One of our recent goals has been creating how-to guides aimed at new FreeBSD users. And because of your support, we were able to double our efforts in 2022 with 10 new written and video guides, which you can find on the foundation website. Finally, we were really excited to bring back the newsletter early in 2022, and it continues to be a great way to stay informed about the foundation and the FreeBSD community. We're so glad it's back. 
So make sure to subscribe on the Foundation website to stay up to date on what we've been working on. Thank you so much for your support and helping us to continue to support the FreeBSD community across the world. Thank you to those who have donated this year. So far, we have raised just over $1 million towards our fundraising goal of $1,400,000. There is still time to donate uh, by going to freebsdfoundation.org slash donate. Uh, you will see several methods of donation listed there. Thank you. So hopefully you enjoyed hearing about some of the work that we've done this past year. But I want to let you know about some of our exciting plans for 2023. Some of those plans include improving developer tools, helping to drive innovation and software development by hiring more software engineers, improving the ease of adoption of FreeBSD for both individuals and for corporations, expanding FreeBSD advocacy and marketing, and creating educational content for platforms like Coursera and LinkedIn Learning. So from all of us at the FreeBSD Foundation, we want to thank you for all your support, and we look forward to supporting you in 2023. Thank you.